So we're here now with Patrick Sundstrom. Patrick, tell me a little bit about why you're here and what your background is. I mean, if you're devoted to contribute to healthcare transformation, HIMSS 19 is really the place to be. It's yeah. like, you know, this kind of melting pot where private, public uh, technology and policy meet to exchange knowledge and create relationships. And uh, we truly believe that to further catalyze the transformation of healthcare, we need to get public, private technology and policy to, to be aligned. Uh, and I'm convinced that the future of healthcare is going to be built on the strongest of partnerships. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're here from Sweden. And we're here with a big delegation with top leaders from our healthcare providers, wow. our industry and our policy makers. So knowledge exchange, get the same experience to take it home and to speed up innovation. So. Where Fantastic. is, I know very little yeah. about Sweden's innovation, yeah. um, where, are, where do you fall in terms of other countries, in terms of being progressive? I would say we are at the top and we have, okay. <laughs> we have an ambitious oh, goal. Yeah, sure. We have an ambitious goal to yeah. be the, the top leader in the world by yeah. 2025 in using technology to transform healthcare. And so we started that journey a lot of years ago. Yeah. I mean, Sweden was one of those countries that digitized the first. The kind of uh, movement we are in now is trying to move healthcare from bricks and walls of hospitals to the spot where the patient is. And obviously, technology and teams are the enablers. Right, like meet the mm -hmm. patient where they are. Exactly. Uh, now, do you feel like when you have an older, so we know here in America, yeah. uh, the whole world of the silver tsunami yeah. of older people yeah. coming through, and the argument that an older person won't adapt technology. Mm -hmm. Has that been the same for you? We don't see that in Sweden, actually. Okay. It's, it's something that we younger people think, and maybe, you know, the kind of healthcare providers and the professionals, but when we really make sure that these older people get the, the proper tools, uh, they can handle it, and they are, I mean, they are obsessed about it. And we've seen fantastic examples in the elderly care in Sweden. Uh, and I will also say that our main priority in Sweden is about managing chronic diseases and promote health. We truly believe that we have to discharge patients with digital solutions, with sensors, with tra training programs, wow. with, yeah. with uh, other stuff that makes continuous uh, monitoring possible, mm -hmm. uh, and also to, to give out uh, decision support uh, systems and digital nudges that will prevent the chronic uh, patient to get worse. So I think our, our goal is to support pe people to stay in a circle of well-being rather than get worse and need to go to hospitals or primary care centers. Wow. It all sounds so, very yeah. ambitious. Yeah. So <laughs> if I went online and I looked at the metrics of the success rates and the positive outcomes yeah. of Sweden compared to other countries, yeah. would it be like this? No, it's not like that. I mean, uh, we have our challenges as well, but we have mm. some fundamental things in place and yeah. we have it on a national level and not many countries have that on a national level. We have a national service platform with services for every patient. Yeah. So as a citizen, you can uh, get access to your fully medical record online right. in a national service. Yes. At the moment, you want it. Right. We have a national uh, patient overview, so all every healthcare provider could, could get access to data with the history of the patient regardless of you know which kind of vendor you're using for EMRs and stuff like that. Right. You can book them appointments online, you can renew prescriptions, e-referrals. So like let that. me ask you this, um, that's all awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, give me your leading issue that you're dealing with. My leading issue because I'm working on policy level yeah. so it's trying all the regulations and rules we have in Sweden are really designed on yesterday's logic. Uh -huh. We need to get the policies aligned to drive further innovation in healthcare and to make this great innovation we see at HIMSS 19 coming together in a sustainable way in Sweden. But so. governments must see all the positives that are coming, which makes me think you're in for an easier fight. Um, to yeah. change those policies. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's it's our main topic, and in yeah. Sweden we have a decentralized system, so the regions are fully responsible for mm -hmm. healthcare and their levy taxes, and the state has quite limited responsibility. It's about regulations and laws, so right. that's the main main topic for our government.